Hello and welcome back to the Geshu.com Incorporated video tutorial series. In this video we will be covering LinkedIn and creating a LinkedIn app specifically to um, enable a feature within our Geshu.com social media auto poster for WordPress so that when we make new posts in the WordPress website they can be automatically posted to our um, to our LinkedIn site. This particular module works or this plugin works for uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and as more social media networks enable this type of functionality we will be adding this to this product. At the time of uh, recording we are at version 2.01 of the social media auto poster and again its purpose is to uh, help you regain time in your day. So you're not manually going to Facebook and posting a new post, manually going to Twitter paste, posting a new post, or manually going to LinkedIn. This does it for you automatically. Our products uh, cover 360 degrees of your website success. You could theoretically automate everything. Um, we just discussed briefly the WordPress auto poster. We also have the WordPress Facebook crawler where you find links of Facebook pages that have similar content to what you're interested in posting on your website. It goes to Facebook, to those URLs, it grabs their content and posts it to your WordPress website. So combining these two, you can automate content creation on your website and pushing it out to your social media channels. We also have the WordPress viral content plugin which gives you the ability to hide either your entire article or post or little snippets of it, like a chart that has specific information to back up your, your uh, overall blog post or a download PDF file. You can hide that with the WordPress viral content uh, um, maker and the only way the visitor can view that or download the PDF is if they then turn around and share your post to their own social media channel. So in order for them to download it, they need to share your link and it gets you more traffic. We finally have the WordPress Twitter Manager, which is specific to Twitter. It goes out there and it finds you friends. It finds you people who are interested in either hashtags that meet your market or um, your competitors. It can go there and, and start befriending your competitors' followers. So 360 degrees of your overall market success can be automated through these plugins. With that said, I'm going to jump right in uh, to the LinkedIn process. First and foremost, you need to have a LinkedIn account. Once you have a LinkedIn account, you go to developer.linkedin.com. You click on My Apps. And you create, click on Create an Application. So here under Company Name, um, we're going to create a new company in case you don't have already uh, an app created um, while you're on this uh, watching this video you cl click to create a new com uh, company guessyou.com incorporated put your name in there or the, the name of the app excuse me guess you test app a description You need, a, you need a logo, it needs to be at least 80 by 80 pixels and a maximum of 5 megabytes in size. I'm just going to use one from an app that we created. <clears throat> uh, what does the application use? We're going to use it for communications. That may be the wrong industry, but I'm just uh, interpreting it as meaning we're communicating with our LinkedIn audience. Put in the URL, put in your email address, and finally your business telephone number. You then need to accept the LinkedIn API terms of use. Click on submit. Sometimes it takes a little time, this time it was quick. So right now we have our client ID and our client secret. We are about 70% done with creating the application that we need for the social media auto poster. Um, here it is in LinkedIn. Here are the settings. You need client ID and client secret, and you need to enable it. But for our plugin, we additionally need the comp uh, we need to be the company admin. We need to give administrative rights to the 
Geshu company or the Geshu LinkedIn account so that we can write and read and communicate, uh, uh, control that particular LinkedIn account page. What we also need is we need an authorized redirect URL. So when our script communicates with LinkedIn, it needs to authenticate itself with this client ID and client secret. LinkedIn sends a message back. We need that redirect URL or that back URL, which within all of our scripts that have APIs to communicate with social media or with just about any type of website that provides an API, we automatically generate that redirect URL for you. So you just go back to the plugin. In this case, it's the social media auto poster settings. Scroll down to LinkedIn and we copy the authorized redirect URL. Paste that into here. Click on add. Update. And now we have are finished. We have our administrative uh, permissions. We have a redirect URL, and we have our client ID and client secret. Um, as a side note, don't bother trying to copy the client ID and client secret that I have created. After this video, I will be deleting this application. This is just for the video's sake. So I've enabled it, added the client ID, added the client secret, and created my app. Click on Save Changes. So in the social media auto poster, I now have my LinkedIn settings. I go to list account, and here we see that I, I could set up Twitter, I could set up Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and add accounts here, and, and then tell each account which content type will be um, posted there. I just set up a LinkedIn app, so I go to the LinkedIn tab. I click on add a new LinkedIn account. It sends me to LinkedIn authorization to authorize the new guess you, uh, test app that we just created to have allow access or communication between the website and the uh, LinkedIn platform. I allow that. I then for uh, further security purposes uh, with LinkedIn I need to re-enter my password and I click allow access for the other um, permissions, the company page permissions and the profile overview permissions. So now I have my LinkedIn accounts have been added to the social media auto poster under LinkedIn. There's my personal account, there's the business account. I can now tell this plugin what content types, posts, pages, or whatever other content types you may have should be posted to this LinkedIn account. I can even determine, go drill down within the categories of what my content type is. I'll say news. And then I can do the uh, format, how the message looks. So these are the current variables that my content types have. So I can say, I want to post the title, I want to post the permalink, and most of my, uh, my posts have images. So I want it to attach an image so that I'll have the title, a link bringing the person back to my website so they can read the blog or the post on my website, and an image. The very, you know, images are attractive, uh, visual. And then I scroll down and I click Save Changes. The last portion that I need to do for configuring uh, any of these accounts to run is a cron job. Each account has its own individual cron job. We recommend that you run it every 15 minutes. Although that depends on how frequently you create content. If you're using our um, our uh, Facebook web crawler, it's going out there every five, ten minutes and grabbing you content. So you have new content on a regular basis. That's why we recommend combining these together. And then here it would be 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, this turns around and posts to this LinkedIn page. If it was Facebook, it would be posting it to this Facebook page. If it was Twitter, it would be posting it to this Twitter page, so on and so forth down the line of the social media channels. So you need to set up a cron with this URL for this page to be constantly updated with um, your new posts. You could do that through your hosting company. Um, we recommend as an external free alternative, cron-job.org, um, relatively stable works um, automatic. You don't need to have any uh, uh, real processes on your own server if you don't have the skill to do it. But um, 
that's pretty much it. Other than that, you can fine tune. You could also add more categories here. Um, you could add different more types of con uh, more content types, which should be posted to this particular LinkedIn page, um, and build out your your status. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something about the LinkedIn uh, uh, creation of a LinkedIn app and about our products, uh, whether it be the social media auto poster, the Facebook crawler, the Twitter manager, etc. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.